kids will be heading back to school in less than three weeks and a lot of them could be suffering anxiety as it's uh, been quite a while since things were quote normal. Parenting expert and author of uh, Without Losing Your Cool, a survival guide to get you through the teen years alive, love the title, Chantal Bisson joins us with tips on how to help your kids transition back to normal. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Chantal. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Well, you know, we all know the last year and a half has been tough, and then you add being a preteen teen going starting grade nine into the mix mm -hmm. and all that comes with that. I mean, even just starting grade nine alone comes with anxieties and fears. So maybe right. let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I'd love to. I mean, obviously, we've all been there, done that. We've gone to high school. We've gone, you know, we've been the, the this freshman walking in the doors for the very first time. And it's, you know, it's 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 scary. There's so much that goes through a teen's mind. It's like for a lot of them, that's when they sort of break away from their uh, their social circle of, that they've grown up with, either through elementary school or middle school. And that's where they start to go into new high schools and, and different regions and whatnot. So already you've got that. You've got like probably separating from good friends long-time relationships and they're going into school alone potentially and so they're wondering am I gonna make friends is there mm. anybody here who's gonna like me am I gonna fit in um, maybe they've been an athlete a great athlete in their school before but you know now you're you're a nine great you're a ninth you're grader a small and fish kids in a big in pond. a big big <laughs> pond so you know there's a lot of worry there's a lot that can stress a child out as they're mm. making that huge leap into high school I can see that too and you know and also when you're in grade nine and you're only like 13 or 14 years old and you look at the grade 12s they look like men and women some of them like full-on beards walking down the hall and you're like I'm just going through puberty <laughs> right <laughs> yeah remember that I remember yes. that I remember going going where am I all yes. of a sudden you know, and then there's also that discrepancy between like what kids are up to like 18 year old mm -hmm. kids you know they're kissing they're hugging they're being physically <laughs> attentive to one another and then you've got somebody like my youngest who was that 13 year old going into high school, you know, and mm -hmm. because of when her birthday fell. So, you know, there is also that discrepancy of maturity, you yes. know, and then yes. some kids might feel like they need to move quickly through these, these days and these years to try to catch up with the bigger kids and the cooler kids. So mm -hmm. it's really, really important that parents start now, three weeks mm -hmm. out, if you haven't already, you know, start asking them, how are they feeling? What are they thinking about? You know, are they, are there anything that they, you know, or anything, any things that they're worried about that mm -hmm. like they want to talk about? Because oftentimes they have these like underlying insecurities and fears and anxieties and they don't think that they're normal. They think that they're alone in those feelings. Yes. So it's really important for parents to open that dialogue and be saying, oh my gosh, I remember when I was going to high school, this is how I felt. This is mm -hmm. what I was afraid of. This is what I worried about. And then your kid will be like, oh, Okay, so, mm -hmm. you know, mom gets me, dad gets me. Exactly, and these are real conversations, and that's why we go back to your book. Um, your book is doing very, very well on Amazon, very successful. We want to pe steer people in that direction, right, Chantel? Uh, I, yeah. we don't, unfortunately, we're running out of time, but what this does is it gives people a, a little handbook, a referral guide as they go from being 13 to 18, and step-by-step, uh, step, right? Yeah, it really mm -hmm. does. And it, you know, it helps you like what to look for, maybe little signals or signs of like your child not doing exactly. so great and yeah. where to go from there once you, uh, once you realize that. Yes. So, yeah. Well, Chantan Poisson, we really appreciate you coming on the show. Best of luck with your book. Thanks for the tips. That's it for now. Right. Morning Life tomorrow.